This is the new final update to Bonnie's Bakery. Uh, we're gonna get this started. I think what you have to do to read up on the brand new update is you gotta go onto here, go to hunt, choose victim. It doesn't really matter. I thought you had to like do this entire thing over again, but you just have to go investigate. And I think you have to read up a book. I forgot what the book is called. Like the name's eluding me right now. I think we're in the right area. Oh yeah, we didn't have to run around. Public library. This is it, right? I have to finish the story another time. Oh. Hmm, wait, so do I have to beat this? You have important matters like trying to get this dog? Yeah, so apparently we're gonna be hunting dogs. Uh, we're just gonna play this. Didn't know that Bonnie was an Asian bakery. It's a total joke. I have not seen a single Asian person eat a dog. Like, it's been mentioned in, like, Mortal Kombat Deception, but that's as far as it got. Alright, I wonder if I can read the book here. Looks like someone ripped out some of the pages. How rude. Now I can't read it. I wish I could have read it before it was ruined. Oh, it's highlighting, so I'm gonna have to go look for them. Uh... Why is Bingus out here? Hi, Bingus. I'm not sure where she's off in a hurry to. Is she leading me somewhere? I gotta follow her. It's too bad I don't have the leg warmer. I don't know if that was hinting me something. Maybe that's why it says Bingus was here. Oh, interact with her. She's right here. What is... Okay, she's just here for, for laughs and giggles. Okay, got it. What if I go back to a previous one? So that, like, rewinds time and then the pages aren't ripped? Can it work that way? Okay, so the book's not here on the first day. Okay, so the book is here on day two. Someone didn't put this book away properly. I should put it back. I have no idea where to put this book. Hmm... The ethereal lady, huh? <laughs> that takes me back. Okay. Maybe I'll give it a read. Yeah. Chapter 1. A Peaceful Town. Along a quiet river, past the mountains and hills, was a perfect peaceful town guarded by the ethereal lady. Under the protection of the ethereal lady, there was never a day of strife or suffering. In this town, everyone was happy. She rose with the sun and the soft white clouds. She rested when the moon blanketed the sky with darkness and stars. The ethereal lady united her children and served as a reminder to always be kind and follow her teachings. Pretty wholesome so far. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right, we are actually playing her. Look at these children. Good morning, ethereal lady. I can help you make food for everyone. My sweetest child, you are truly kind, but remember, your lessons come first. Just as it is my role to feed my children, it is your role to complete your studies. Okay, I'll study from morning to night. How studious. Say, we have to have more people that are role models like ethereal lady. A lot of the grown-ups in real life suck. They have nothing better to do but make fun of children. Uh, let's talk to this child over here first. Is there any more? Ethereal lady. Cheerful as ever, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I was waiting for you to wake up again. Can you read me another story? Can we play? Can I pick you some flowers? Why, that's quite the list you've made. I'll come back to you later, my child. I must make food for everyone so that they have energy to start the day. Ah, okay. All right, any more children? Hi. How are you doing, my child? Your quiet nature is something to be proud of, but never be afraid to ask for help. Thank you. She's so sweet for that. When I'm quiet, everyone's like, more mean. <laughs> okay, anyway, I should be preparing breakfast for everyone. I need to head to the main house, okay. 
So what was it highlighting before when it was like missing the pages? I've already forgotten. I think like that's because of the hypothermia. Oh man. Something was wrong with my shin too. It's super stiff. It's like permanently stiff, no matter what I do. Every morning the ethereal lady prepared a hearty breakfast for all of her children. She set a large cauldron a porridge on top of the table as the children lined up one by one. You know, funny enough, I am going to be making some <laughs> porridge in midnight. Right right now I'm fasting for Monday. Ate way too much yesterday because of freaking Thanksgiving. Her hungry children filled their stomachs, leaving nothing behind but clean empty bowls. Delicious. Could I have some more? Thanks for the meal. The ethereal lady smiled amongst the lively chatter. Her heart was warmed by the kindness and happiness of her children. How wonderful it was to have a never-ending life of peace and innocence. A total fantasy right here. So now we can talk to these kids even more. The food was so tasty. I appreciate your compliment. So can we play yet? Soon, my child, remember your patience. I must watch over all of my children equally. I'll be sure to come back to you later, all right? Ah, okay, I understand. And what about you? <laughs> I love the jumping animation. Could I clean the dishes for you? My kindest child, I see that you've studied your lessons well. It would be rude for me to reject your offer. Yay. All right, so she's gonna help with the dishes uh, later. Now let's talk to the shy child. I see you've eaten well today. I'm very proud of you. And you're new. My child, you seem quite upset. Is something wrong? <laughs> Ethereal lady, I was playing with the doll, but he took it away from me. Who's he? Oh no, are you hurt? I'm okay. But that was really mean. Could you tell me who did this to you? He's over at the field. He's picking fights with the kids he knows he can beat. Uh-oh. Time for Ethereal Lady to take some action. I wonder what this child's come up it's gonna be. You got to be nicer. Ethereal Lady. Oh dear. What happened here? Wah. We were playing together, but my friend was hurt. That meanie punched me. Now, now, calm down, my children. I'll go talk to him. Can you tell me where he went? He went further down the field. That way. I heard crying. Did something happen? Don't worry, dear. I'll handle the situation. All right. It's about to have, like, a, a verbal talk in here. It's about to be abused verbally. The ethereal lady, with grace and humility, walked further down the field. It did not take long for her to see a child tinkering with a broken doll. When the devious child noticed the ethereal lady, he averted his eyes guiltily. This was not the first time he had caused a commotion. No matter how gently the ethereal lady tried to reason with him, he always went back to his mischievous ways. I heard about what happened. What did you hear? That you were causing trouble again. <laughs> Whatever, I'm leaving. Hey, the ethereal lady wants to talk to you. It's rude to leave mid-conversation. Ugh. He's the one that punched me. Oh, is he causing trouble again? Give me my doll. It's not yours, it's mine. Now, now, let's calm down, children. Why did you steal her doll? It wasn't hers, it was always been mine. If that was the case, you could have shared the doll with her for a little bit. But it's mine. That means I can do whatever I want. Just let her play with the doll for a little bit. It's not a big deal. All of this was just over some toy. It wasn't just that. He hurt me, too. Ah, uh, yes. Not sharing is one thing, but hurting someone is going too far. They wouldn't let me play with them. They had it coming. That's because you're a troublemaker. Yeah. We don't want to play with someone that's mean. See? Hmm. Well, it is unfair that they didn't let you play with them. They clearly have their reasons. Everyone knows how. 
difficult you can be. You clearly have an infinite reputation. If you want others to play with you, look inwards before pointing fingers. The ethereal lady is right. No one wants to play with a meanie. Apologize! No. If you say sorry to everyone and act kindly from now on, things will turn out better for you. Sorry. The child apologized and reluctantly shared his doll with the others. He's feeling so salty right now. Look at that face. His cooperation was merely a front, however, as his heart remained blackened and cruel. The ethereal lady looked on in disappointment as the child continued to glare at the others. Her sadness was interrupted by a hug. Thank you for fixing the problem, ethereal lady. You always do so much to help us. I wish I could do more for you. The ethereal lady smiled. Oh, my kind child, you've done more than enough today. You always study hard care for others, and just now, you've helped resolve this conflict. If everyone were like you, there would never be any suffering in our world. These kind benevolent children were the greatest source of joy to the ethereal lady. She decided to cast the troublemaker from her mind and end the day tending to the rest of her children. What a read. I guess I got sidetracked. I have to read more some other time for now. I need to get back to business. Huh, okay. So it's going by a chapter sequence. So I gotta like move on to the next day if I want to read it. Alright, here we go. Should I read this right now? Yes. Let's see what happens next. Chapter 2. The Seeds of Doubt. The next day, the ethereal lady awoke to a particular sound. It's sounding a little bit spooky out there. I'll say that. Silence. Hmm. Ethereal lady, there's big trouble today. Big trouble? Everyone is fighting and some of the kids are starting to look scary. I see. Don't worry, my child. I'll handle this. You have nothing to fear. Thank you, my lady. Thank you, my lady? Not the ethereal lady? Some disrespect from that child. The ethereal lady rushed outside, only to find absolute chaos. What happened here? Are they wearing a mask? Children who once listened to her, every word shut their ears. The children who once followed her every step shut their eyes. The children who once showered her with the loveliest phrases shut their mouths. They lost interest in wisdom, falling back to the primal instincts. So they became apes. They became like what? The BC times. The ethereal lady shed tears, for though these children had dissolved into unrecognizable pieces, she still felt care for them in their heart. Oh my. Leave me alone. I've already called the ethereal lady. Roar. Leave that child alone at once. Are you one of my children? What happened to you? Roar. I need to help this child come back to its senses. Don't worry, my child. I forgive you. What? The corrupted child is trying to attack. Defend the ethereal lady. Okay. We got a combat system now. Oh no. The beast child is falling further into corruption. Alright, what do you want me to do about it? The corrupted child's corruption is... something. Forgiveness. Break through the resistance with the power of healing. Alright, so I had to memorize this. So resistance. Resist is heal. Corrupt, forgive. Okay, got it. I did it. Alright, I'll try to memorize this. Thank you for saving me. Of course, don't worry, my child. I'll take care of this. Stay safe, ethereal lady. 
I will, now. Go back inside where it's safe. Huh? What happened? I'll tell you inside. Quick, we need to get in safety. I need to find the other children. Please don't hurt me. I don't want to play this game. Quit being such a baby. It's just a game of tag. I'll play the hunter again. Get running. Stop it. Why, are you telling me, like, me chasing after Bengals was foreshadowing this? Are you not ashamed of yourself? You shouldn't be hunting down your fellow friends for sport. Good. Alright, memorizing time. Corrupt. Forgive. Corrupt, forgive. Alright, I'm supposed to press E, right? To make it go faster? Okay, yeah. I gotta say, like, uh, these developers have been making more relaxing games recently. Kinda. It's like, uh, Germ Food made a pretty relaxing game. Resist, uh... I forgot what Resist was. Was it Heal? Yeah, I'm, I'm having the memory loss because of, like, how freaking cold it is. There's not even that much to remember. That's how bad it is. My memory's, like, so bad right now. Alright, so, forgive is like an attack. It just, it's kind of like dodging the word a bit. Have you learned your lesson? Are you okay? Do you see now? She still worries for you, even though you were trying to hurt her. I... I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm glad you're back to normal. I'm really sorry. It's all right, my child. For returning to us, I forgive you. So now you children should go back inside. Are you not gonna tell them that? All right. I guess we'll just go save the other children then. All right, so we pretty much know what to do. Brain is not working properly right now. Like I'm really not ready to record because I didn't expect to like just go back to back with recording some games. Like, yesterday I was recording... What was that one game called? Say, my mind is just, like, messed up right now. That Larry game, that's what it's called. Let's find Larry. I'm doing really bad right now. Oh no, I died. Rise. Alright, there we go. Yeah. Um, it was fun the first time, not so much the second time. So, like, at this point, I just kind of just want to advance through the story. Though you may have lost your way, I forgive you. Come back to your senses. Huh? What happened? Somehow, I feel like I've done something wrong. Don't worry, my child. All that matters is that you're here with us again. Oh no, now we got two. Oh, my ears! We got the toys, so let's get out of here. What happened here? I was letting them borrow my toys for a bit, but then they said they wanted to keep it. I see, I'll find them. Uh-oh. Oh, this is gonna corrupt Ethereal Lady. Hi, you two. Hey, you broke it. It's fine, we could take someone else's. Found you. Get her. I'm taking the both on? Uh oh. I'm not ready for this. Oh my gosh. At least they both have like a single health bar. That's one thing that just matters right now. Alright. Oh no. I triple clicked. I'm defending right now. Defend. I'll heal. It kind of slows down, like, before you get in, once you, like, get in, attack in. So defend. Uh, corrupt. Oh, no. They're, like, changing it midway in somehow. What? 
So they can deceive you now. Alright, that's defending. Okay. So you got an attack in. Heal. What's it next? I think we got it in the bag now. Got it. Was it too bad? Although I feel like I still have a hard time trying to complete that battle system. Return to me, my children. I feel like I've been sleeping. Oh no, I broke someone's toy. I'm glad you two are alright. I finally caught up what happened. Hey, what did you do to my toy? I'm sorry, I was the one who... You're sorry? You're not sorry. Not yet, anyway. How could you? You must be patient. Shut up! Wow, Loud Kid's just so angry right now. I don't like that we have, like, three slots that we have to work with. Because, like, my mouse accidentally clicks more times than one. But yeah, like, the opposite side only has, like, one slide. Are you not taking this W yet? Come on. There we go. I'm getting better at this. The crowd came to its senses. I'm sorry for yelling. <laughs> Have you calmed down? Y yeah. I'm really sorry for breaking your toy. And I'm sorry I helped him take it. Perhaps this could all have been avoided if I were a better teacher. No, it wasn't your fault, Ethereal Lady. Yeah, you know, I got too angry. I took something that didn't belong to me. We're really grateful for your help. I'm glad you kind children weren't completely tainted by my mistakes. But sadly, you're not the only ones who have lost their way. I have no choice. I must take serious action. Yep, here we go. Although the ethereal lady was able to save some of her children, others were unreachable. They distorted more and more, rejecting her teachings and growing more depraved and beast-like. They stalked the innocent children, taken from them, hurting them, and leading them astray. As much as it hurt the ethereal lady, she knew that she had to separate the beasts from the others. Her love for them would never fade, but they were simply too dangerous now. The Ethereal Lady's love was boundless, of course, but even she had her limits. Wow, that was a lot. What an interesting story. I need to finish it another time. That means that we're going to have to move to the next level. Alright, final chapter. Here we go. This is the last chapter. Should I see how strong the story ends? Yes. Please. Chapter 3, Unforgivable. I wanted to say unforgivable, but I wanted to say unforgiven. <laughs> After the barrier was established, the ethereal lady ran the beasts out of her town and shut the gates tightly. For many nights, the beasts clawed and sneered. They missed the comfort of the town, but they were not willing to earn back the trust they had broken. Eventually, the beasts grew hungry. After rejecting their humanity, they no longer had the knowledge to make their own food. Some tore ravenously into the grass to scavenge for food, ripping the roots from the ground. Others grew violent and tore into each other. They lacked the wisdom to build a good society, so they constructed one base entirely on their desires. As time went on, they forgot about the comfort of the ethereal lady and deluded themselves into believing they were happy. Hello, ethereal lady. You look down today. Is everything okay? You don't have to be worried, my child. But you always help us whenever we have trouble. I'd like to be here to listen to yours. I truly have raised you well, haven't I? I worry for the vulnerable children of this town and the ones lost. I worry about the vulnerable children of this town and the ones that have lost their ways. I grow weary thinking of my dear sweet children who have become such unrecognizable monsters. Well, you don't have to worry about me. I'll always remember everything you've taught us. Thank you, my child. I pray that the others look to you for guidance. Is that, uh, hinting something? She's gonna be the new guardian? Was this how it looked? 
No, no, I think it was more of an angle. Yeah, and it was more like, phew, at this part. All right. You can't forget the phew. Haha. <laughs> what an interesting conversation. Um, hundred. Hmm. Uh, I guess you win this round. Hehe. <laughs> I guess it's your turn to hide now. I'll count to 100. 100? No need. Just count to 50 and I'll be gone. You know, for your children's safety, I would close this ethereal lady. Because they can easily just barge in. Uh-oh. I don't think I quite understand what you're saying. You're being tricked. Your precious ethereal lady is a liar and a fraud. The ethereal lady approached the snarling beast, who glared at her with its feral eyes. I do not want to hurt you, my once sweet child. I see the pain in your eyes as you attempt to reconstruct what I built without me. Your newfound hardships in life are due to my absence. My love for you has never waned. Return to me and live in peace. The older beast turned its back, retreating further into the dark woods. However, after the old beast retreated, a young beast appeared from the shadows and stood before her. The ethereal lady gave him a gentle smile and carried him back to the town in her arms. With each step they took, the beast regained his humanity. He held onto her gently, and before he knew it, he had forgotten about his tainted family beyond the walls. Unfortunately, the ethereal lady's troubles would only grow to continue. Continue to grow. Grow to continue. The most devious beast grew more clever. It climbed over the walls and searched for its victims. Uh-oh. The children ran and hid in fear as it prowled through the town drooling at the sight of their untainted society. The beast spoke to the children in an unrestrained snarl. You think you're being protected, but you're all just prisoners in this tiny town. Don't you want to think for yourselves? You look at us like we are beneath you. As if our ideas are inherently inferior. What well, what will you do when the ethereal lady turns her back on the rest of you as well? But the children pleaded for help, and their call was answered. The ethereal lady approached the beast. Her kind love grew cold as she saw just how inhuman the beast had become. Oh, boss battle time? We doing the same combat system? Oh yeah, we are. Attack, defend. Will I survive? Probably not. Oh boy. This can get pretty tedious, can it? But it's a boss battle, so we gotta take it seriously. I don't wanna die multiple times. Man, shoot away. But that wasn't like the, the full boss. This beast, there's no humanity left in it. Rather than use my forgiveness, I need to purify this monster once and for all. Like how? Purify. Hmm. So corrupt. It just seems like we're gonna have to do multiple battles of these, like, minor pieces. So there's probably gonna be another round after this. Yeah. Maybe two more rounds. I don't know. Ugh. This is not what I anticipated when we uh, started this, but the story is getting kind of juicy. All right, one more after this. Come on, one more. And boom, did it. And now we purify, right? Yes. We defeated the mighty beast. Now, let's advance in the story. See what the the evil child's come up. It's as, how far you've fallen, foolish beast. If you had just returned for forgiveness, I would have opened my arms to you. The children cheered at their victory, glad to see the hideous beast taken down for good. Let this be a lesson, my child, or let this be a lesson, my children. Cast aside the beasts who reject my forgiveness, for they are no longer human. However, if you find that a child has lost their way, return them to me so that they don't lose their humanity. The children heed the ethereal lady's words, and gradually peace returned to the town. 
The horrible old beasts were slain without hesitation. The younger troubled beasts were treated with love and care, and eventually regained their humanity. With the help of everyone in town, and of course, the power of the Ethereal Lady, everyone lived together in harmony happily ever after. A happy ending. Are you sure there's not more? I, I could have sworn there's more than this. All oh, right, I need to put this back where it belongs. Do you know where this book goes by any chance? I'm not sure where that book came from, but that is definitely not one of our books. Huh? Hey, why not take it with you? I noticed you were easily, really invested in it. Watching you made me want to give it a go. Not exactly the type of horror I expected out of this game, but it was kind of nice reading that story. Okay, apologies about the previous session because the video was corrupted all over the place after 30 minutes. I think it's because action recording software is just garbage now. Same thing with my DSLR too. I think my DSLR is getting old because the audio sync kind of goes off. But there is another mode that we can check out and, you know, after 30 minutes I'm going to have to cut it off again because that's how much time that I can record on this freaking camera. And yeah, we're going to go into Victim. Uh, we're going to investigate the panda, and there is a new poster out here. It's like, uh, <laughs> the Bonnie's Bakery developers, they like to conceal the information on how to enter these modes, but there's a poster right here that says, premiering at night, come back later. I'm not sure if bonking this is going to unlock it, but now we're going to get out of this and see if we can unlock it by going into the actual nighttime mode. I don't know if it matters. I'm gonna go into this just because there's like a less cops around. Premiering now. Endless bonking unlocked. There we go. So now we can get out of this, correct? And main menu. Uh, we go into here. Here it is, endless bonking. So I've never messed with this before. Uh, I think there might be a shop where you can get like you can... Uh, I'm sorry, I can't think right now. My brain's just been all over the place today because of the hypothermia. Why does it say stop right here? Dude, what was I going to talk about again? Oh my gosh. There's a shop. After you like get a certain amount of scores, then you can like use those points to like buy stuff from the shop. So we just bonk people, right? Oh, wow. It says bonking hammer. Okay. Another point down. This is fun! Wow! You never saw anything. <laughs> There's blood around the eye will expose you now. Oh, this actually is really fun. I actually take this over the baking one. Endless baking is kind of like I don't know, it gets super boring after a while. Yeah, nice try. So what if I walk away with just 12 points? Can I do that? Will they allow that? So if I go through here... Oh, no, you just have to keep going. Wait, can I go through here? It says stop. I don't know why it looks like I can go in there. 666%. Nice. Can I go? Oh, I was about to say, I can go in here? Okay, yeah. What does this say? This way to Bonnie's Bakery. Got it. <laughs> nice try. Alright. So we're just gonna bonk as many times as we can. Cool kids only? What is this a reference to? Oh, hello. Can I bonk them? Oh, wow. Uh, bigger lungs, greatly increased stamina, score six when... Wait. So there is no shop, you just have to bonk those things. Hmm, increased sprint speed? I 
I guess I seem a little faster. Let me follow them. Hey, where are you guys going? Okay. <laughs> Tasty vegetable. Double stamina recovery. Boost move speed for a few seconds after bomb. I'll go with this. Double stamina recovery. Alright. Hmm. And now... And no, thank you. Bye. Ah! Oh! Okay. Mm, let's see. Jammer. Add time to the police timer. Uh, score points for blocking and 15 calls. Slightly increased sprint. I know I'm like over and using sprint, but it's making the game a lot more fun this way. Hey, stop right there! You guys won't catch up to me. Oh, I actually got him. Nice. Alright, I'm doing pretty good so far. Oh, he's like, oh! No! Oh, wow. Well. That was fun. Oh, there's an ending to this. Oh, it's the ranking thing. I got a B rank. New high score. Police can revive bonked ingredients, including other police. Watch out for the police packs. Okay, so that's how it works. It's, there's no shop. You just have to bonk those things that dance around. The, the binguses. But this is going to be the only session I'm going to record of this mode because it really is just an endless bonking mode. Yeah, thank you all for watching Bonnie's Bakery's final update. They are still going to work on some games. It's just they're going to stay away from the base game and work on other projects, which I'm pretty excited for. Uh, other than that, I don't know if I'm going to like record more on this channel. Like Let's Plays have been a pretty frustrating genre to do on this main channel. Like The only time I'll actually make a Let's Play is if it's something that I know is going to do really well. Like Bonnie's Bakery, for instance. Or German Food did okay. I'm not going to do Chillis Art, unfortunately, because people don't seem to like Chillis Art. Puppet Combo, 100%, I will play Puppet Combo's games because they do well. But other than that, like, you know, playing the latest new indie horror game that comes out from a new developer, I'm not doing those anymore. None of you ever watch them, so no point for it. So yeah, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you all. Apparently, I saw an image about evidence. Man, I guess it has something to do with endless bonking. Yeah, let's try to get, like, S rank. Not in the mood for this, dude. Gotta move fast, boy. Oh my gosh. It's getting really intense now. Oh, he has to be here. Ah. Oh. What rank does that give me? I wonder. Hey, that was a lot of points. A? Are you kidding me? I can be used to your advantage by distracting the police. Dude, I can't believe that was only A. What does it take to get an S ranking then? Wow, A rank. Dude. I hope 200's the S rank. Wait, what's the double S though? There's like a double S that I saw in the folder. Why do I suffer for like a hundred views? Like people don't watch this shit. Oh, Two thirty three, though. What is that score? S rank. <sighs> At least I got S rank.